Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Alex. This is Pucks and Paperbacks and today I am doing part two of swapping my screen time with reading time because you voted on a poll on my community tab and I asked you which video you would like to see first. This or a day in the life of a reader weekend versus weekday. 65% voted for this video so this weekend I am going to be abandoning my phone and getting some reading done. I did this once before so if you missed it it'll be linked up above. So hi it is Friday I am going to be doing this challenge until Sunday and I'm just going to check my screen time and I'm going to try and read as much as I can. <laughs> now I am a freelance book publicist and some of my job is heavily using social media to research influencers and uh, so my screen time is probably going to be a little bit high. I do have some rules for myself because I want to get a lot of reading done. So to track my screen time I have to look and see what I use the most and I know I am a big watcher of YouTube. I watch it during the day. I watch it at night. It's my background noise most of the time and so <gasps> Apparently my daily average is 2 hours and 60 minutes. So then the weekly average is 20 hours and 57 minutes. So almost 21 hours which is not really surprising to me because I watch videos that are pretty long like podcasts and things like that. So that doesn't surprise me. So my rules are I am only going to watch 2 YouTube videos a day which is a lot for me. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to end up breaking that. So I'm really not on my phone as much. I use Instagram as a social networking app because that's where I talk to my friends. I do have an app limit of I believe 45 minutes so that will be my cap for the weekend. If I go over that I'm not really too mad about it but I would rather answer my messages than be scrolling and Instagram is really good at that. So I am only going to check my messages on Instagram and I am hoping to just get a lot of reading done. So here we see my iPhone average screen time is 1 hour and 38 minutes which is down 30% from last week which does make a lot of sense. Total screen time is 9 hours and 52 minutes. Social being the highest which is 7 hours which makes sense because I talk to a lot of my friends on WhatsApp and Instagram. So those are two things that I'm not going to eliminate. I will only answer my messages and not scroll or try not to scroll on Instagram. That is my biggest thing. I have been feeling a lot of anxiety today just opening my phone because there's just a lot of shit going on with trans laws being passed and anti-LGBT laws being passed and as a trans person it is really hard to be on social media nowadays because there is just so much going on and it just is really hard. So this weekend I am dedicating it to reading and hockey. Now that's my one thing that I will not be eliminating because tonight I'm going to be watching Florida. I am obsessed with Florida and Toronto at the moment because they're so good and I really wish that they were my hockey team. <laughs> they're really fun to watch and I've just been having a lot of fun watching fun hockey. I am so excited for the playoffs so that is something that's going to happen tonight but like I said I am only going to limit myself to maybe two to four YouTube videos max or if I end up reading a book I can watch a YouTube video because my YouTube consumption is not good <laughs> especially on the weekends because a lot of people post on Fridays and Saturdays. I also need to use my computer to edit down my podcast which comes out on Tuesdays publicly and Mondays on my Patreon. So that is also what consumes my weekend. So obviously I'll use my computer for that and for music. So those are some of the rules that I've set for myself. I hope to complete them. I'm really not on my phone as much. I'm really on it for social networking and to just talk to my friends. So I have a feeling that it's going to be fine and I will do a good job but we'll see. Now here are my reading plans for the weekend. I have some social media things that I need to get to. I have been sent some books that I want to prioritize including this picture book called You Are Not Alone words by two-time Grammy nominees Alphabet Rockers and pictures by Ashley Evans and this is just an inclusive picture book 
and I am super excited to read it. Then Kai Publishing sent me this memoir. It is Hildy on the Record Memoir of a Kid Crime Reporter by Hildy Lisiak. She's eight years old and look how fun this is. It came with a news little tablet that I can write my review on which will be fun. This looks pretty short and I'm excited to read it. My criteria for when I am accepting a book is that it has to have LGBTQ plus rep in some sort. This one did not but it just sounded cool and the author is from Pennsylvania so this is like the one time that I would accept something like this. So I'm excited to read it. I'll have a link down below if you would like to pick it up and you are just interested in it. You want to add it to your TBR or something like that. And then I have my library books because I have a library book that I did not complete. And this is Your Heart My Sky by Margarita Engel which I mentioned in my library haul. And I need to finish this. It's written in verse and I am really enjoying it so far. It is set in 1991 Cuba. This is a story about two 14 year olds and they're living in Cuba in the summer of 1991 and it is a hunger crisis and it is just talking about that time. It's written in verse. I'm really enjoying it so far. I just want to wrap it up. Then my actual biggest priority is to finish Game On. I need to finish this vlog. I will not be talking about it in this vlog because I'm reading this for another vlog that I just started in January and have not completed and I need to complete this before I do anything else. So I went to my library and I picked up a physical copy of it. I only have about eight more stories to read so I'm hoping to wrap it up this weekend because I really want to get that vlog out. So there's that. This is like my main priority. I really really need to get this done. And then last I am currently reading Disability Visibility for the Disability Readathon hosted and created by Erin and Anna. The links for that will be down below and this is their group book. I don't have any thoughts on it because I just started it. I'm really just in the introduction right now. This is my current read. I'm not hoping to finish it this weekend because I think I really need to read it throughout the whole month but I don't really have any comments right now because I just started it. And that is my really heavy TBR. Okay, just checked my screen time on my computer and it is 5 hours and 13 minutes making my total screen time roughly 6 hours and some change. So I am going to whip out my timer that I bought for another video and I am going to time myself and hopefully be able to read for 6 hours this weekend. I don't know if that's going to be a good goal for myself but if I could at least get two hours of reading time done that is good in my book. So I'm gonna go and read, set my timer, and I'll see you later. Hello, happy Saturday. I am ready to share my reading totals from yesterday. So I'm using this timer to track my reading and so far we have 69 minutes. Nice. <laughs> uh, so I read for an hour and nine minutes. I actually ended up going on to Gavin Sprints. He was hosting them with a couple of people. I really love his channel so I got some reading done. But then for the rest of the night that's where it went downhill. <laughs> so let's talk about my 
good positive progress. I ended up reading two stories in Game On, which is awesome, so I'm going to film another clip after this, but I'm very happy that I got that done. So now today's mission is to get this finished. And so I think it will be easy. I'm going to read some this morning. And I watched hockey. Oh my god, it was great. I love, I love Florida. I'm really loving them so much. If you saw my Instagram controls my weekend vlog, I talked about our captain being traded. I'm a Philadelphia Flyers fan. Our captain got traded. I was not okay in that week. <laughs> that, was, that was not a good week for me. Um, but I've been watching his team because I want to watch him go to the playoffs and win a Stanley Cup. And so I'm obsessed with them. Like, they're really good. I have been watching Florida and Toronto, and they're amazing, and they make me want to cry because my team is not that and probably never will be. Oh my god. So if you want to watch some fun hockey, watch Florida and Toronto. They're really fun to watch. I was on the edge of my seat last night, and it was so fun, and I get to do it again today. So I also am getting my hair cut at 3 o'clock, so I will be able to read while I'm there, which is pretty good. Let's go over to my screen time and see how that is doing from yesterday. I know I did not do very well because last night I was on YouTube and I did say that I was going to only watch four videos, which I think I did accomplish, but I also am not going to be very tight and strict with YouTube because it's like my leisure after I'm reading and stuff. So I'm really not going to count it much, but I did watch a lot of Twitch and all. Primarily I watch Simmers on Twitch, including Let's Build Houses and Little Simsy. So if you're a Sims fan and you want to follow somebody, they both have YouTube channels, but Let's Build Houses is more on TikTok. Okay, let's see my screen time from yesterday. It still was at a daily average of an hour and 39 minutes. Instagram. <laughs> that's not good. Five hours of Instagram? No, uh, that's not good at all. I don't like that. But I use it more to talk to my friends, so it would make sense, but I also use it for work, so it makes sense, but that's not very good. <laughs> but, like, I should only have like an hour or two on that. That's a little bit scary. I also, though, last night I was watching hockey highlights because that's how I watch them, either on Twitter or YouTube. I logged out of my Twitter, I took some paperbacks Twitter for the weekend, but I am going to be on there on another account that I have because I need to consume hockey in some sort because I do have hockey fans that I follow. I won't say I'm like ashamed that it's like that, but it could be better. <laughs> My hour is like an hour, which is really not bad at all. I'm gonna go drink the rest of my coffee, read, and I will see you later. Hello, it is Sunday at 2.30 p.m. I read for 18 minutes today. I'm still not finished with Hildy on the record, but I would like to finish it today and get to my picture book. I've just spent the day editing my podcast and I'm still doing that. I ended up waking up at 10.30 a.m. when naturally I would like to have woken up maybe a little bit earlier, but I was on YouTube till 2 a.m. and that's because I spent most of my day reading and I was getting my hair cut and stuff so I didn't have 
time to like watch YouTube and there were some videos that I wanted to watch so I ended up doing that. Yesterday I read for almost two hours my math is 1.86 and so I want to finish up some books today. I would like to read more of Game On but my biggest priority is to finish Hildy on the Record. I'm really enjoying it. It is a memoir about a girl who wants to be a reporter and I want to just point this out that it is intense which I didn't expect at all. I believe this is a young adult book because the author is only 14 and it is just recalling a lot of the events of her life and her following in her dad's footsteps as he is also a reporter but it really heavily mentions the Sandy Hook shooting so I want to just point that out because oh my god <laughs> I had to put it down and just start watching YouTube last night because I was like I cannot like my anxiety was really high last night and just in general yesterday whenever I'm out in public anxiety but uh oh my god that was intense. If you're interested in reading this it comes out on April 19th I'll have some affiliate links down below if you would like to purchase it. Affiliate links just really help my channel and help support me because my channel is not monetized. If you click my links they really help me out. They're at no extra cost to you. They just help me earn a small commission to be able to make videos on this channel. So I just wanted to update a little bit. I'm going to eat lunch and then I need to get back editing but I would like to finish this by the end of the day. I have so far read 57 pages. I'm really enjoying it. Besides the fact that it was a little bit heavy I am really enjoying it. I think it's a really fun book and just a fun story in general. I am learning a lot about journalism terms and stuff. In high school and college I did take some journalism classes but not enough to be able to know many terms so I think it's pretty educational as well. It's nice to have a little refresher and just have Hildy tell you what certain terms mean which I really enjoy because then I don't have to use my phone to look them up because we're not supposed to be touching my phone as much this weekend. I'm gonna eat some lunch, finish editing up the podcast, and I will talk to you later. Hello, it is Monday so let's talk about my very successful weekend because I did the math and I ended up reading for 5 hours and 53 minutes so I was very close to the 6 hour mark that I was trying to achieve but I also finished a book and I just feel like I had such a productive weekend. I felt better and it was awesome so I highly recommend for you to try out this if you can because it's really a good exercise to just stay away from your phone for a couple hours. I think I'm going to try and do that more often so I really enjoyed this. If you did as well feel free to hit subscribe and give this video a thumbs up but let's talk about Hildy On Demand. I keep, I keep wanting to say that's what it's called. It's not. <laughs> Hildy on the record because I really enjoyed this. However, I need to mention the content warnings first. There is mentions of violence and shooting, grief, death, cancer. There's primarily death of grandparents. There is a vivid detail about the Sandy Hook shooting. It does go into detail about that tragedy so that is something I was not prepared for and I want you to be prepared for it. <laughs> Two mentions of police brutality. There's violence, sexism, murder, domestic violence, ageism, depression, suicidal thoughts, anxiety. Also mentions of food and dieting, specifically binge eating. So there are a lot of content warnings that I want to provide you with because the book did not provide me and I want you to be prepared before going into it. 
but I thought it was really good. It was a solid memoir written by a 14 year old. You can tell that she is passionate about writing and the way she went viral is so interesting. I don't want to talk too much about it because I don't want to spoil you but I will say it was a really interesting story and now I want to look up a lot of her interviews. She started her own newspaper, she's homeschooled, and she really just talks about her life and I thought it was really fascinating. She got to interview Malala which was really cool. There's pictures in here about her accomplishments. She has a children's book series and she's only 14 but I thought that it was written very well and my favorite part was that a lot of the chapters end on a cliffhanger which is something that I want to take into my writing so I learned a lot from this in the writing aspect and just got to learn more about this person that I didn't know about. So like I said the link will be down below if you would like to pre-order it or you just are interested and want to add it to your TBR. Thank you so much for watching and that is the end of this video. If you want more bookish things from me, you can follow me on Instagram at Pucks and Paperbacks, Twitter at Pucks Paperbacks, and I have a podcast called Reader Rambles. It is a weekly podcast for book lovers where I ramble about bookish topics and I help readers navigate life. Episodes go out every Tuesday to the public, and if you're a patron, you get them on Mondays. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.